Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a video of all my favorite Funkos, my top rated Funkos that I received um, and or got last year in 2021. All of these Funko Pops are rated highly in my collection. Um, most of them, I think you'd understand why if you pretty much know me um, or know my likes. But let's start off with number five and work our way down to number one which I guess this would be two. Number one, Iron Patriot. Now, the Iron Patriot, um, this specific armor was shown in Endgame. Um, right at the end, Rhodey got a new suit for the final battle. Um, wish we could have seen more of it because this was a beefed up, um, bulkier, heavier looking suit than what we got in Iron Man 3. Um, the detail on him is really crazy, but what I did notice once I took him out of the box, yeah, I know, I took him out of the box, shocker, right? Um, is that he had some some of his paint in the back was chipped already. I don't know if you can easily tell. Um, other than that, this is one of my favorite uh, Funko Pops. It rates number five. Rhodey is a very underrated character in the MCU, and I hope we see more of him in Iron Wars. I think that's what they're calling it. Um, and I just heard that they're gonna start filming it in October, so can't wait for that. Okay, next up on our list is number four, Aang on the air scooter. Now, I am a very big fan of uh, The Last Airbender. So this Funko Pop is uh, mostly based out of the scene in the opening credits where he's riding around a scooter and then he gets, he runs into a wall or a rock or something. Um, this Funko Pop is actually one of the cooler ones that I have. I have a whole collection of Avatar Funkos. Hot Topic released a post about him. I got there early, there was a line. Um, luckily there was enough for everybody. I was able to get two of these at the time on accident. I don't know how I got grabbed two. I think in the rush of things, I was just panicking so I grabbed two and now I have two. Okay, third favorite Funko Pop of the last year. The, this Iron Man suit is the integrated suit that we see in uh, No Way Home. He dons three different suits by the end of the movie. This one happens to be my favorite. I don't know why, the touch of gold around it, it just knocks it out of the park. One thing I do want to say though is in the actual final movie, this uh, right here and this on his chest, that's the, the part where Doctor Strange infuses his suit so he can send the villains back to their realities. Um, that was not in the final last half of the movie. Uh, instead, they opted out for curing all of the villains instead of sending them back home immediately. But yeah, this one happens to be my favorite and also because the stands that they come with, these especially, come in handy. They're super easy and they don't really fall over and they stay upright all the time. And I've seen people too that they will stick these on their shelves upside down with putty or tape here and have these hanging like this, which I think is really interesting. Okay, we're really getting down to my last few favorites. Now, fourth, second to uh, most favorite that I have is going to be this Wanda Maxima Funko Pop. This Funko Pop is a, an exclusive. It is a glow in the dark and it is a pop in a box exclusive. When they released photos of this, I immediately knew I had to get one. So I actually had uh, two other people, uh, friends, on their phones at the same time on the website ready to purchase this. Uh, luckily there was enough for everybody, no shortage there. But the level of detail with this one is insane. It's one of the best moments in Endgame. I really thought she was going to be the one to kill Thanos. Um, and she almost did. So Wanda's always been one of my favorite Marvel uh, characters. So this Funko Pop is not a letdown at all. So coming in at number one as my favorite Funko Pop that I got this year is the Loki from Avengers Endgame with the Tesseract. Um, I actually did not get him in stores um, or I'm sorry from the website. I was not fortunate enough at the time. I think I actually started collecting right after Endgame. Um, but this one happens to be my favorite um, for a few reasons. One, the value on this is pretty crazy, but two, 
it's one of the more interesting Funko Pops. The level of detail on him is insane, as well as him holding the Tesseract, him being handcuffed, and then having his muzzle over his mouth um, really seals the deal. If you noticed, a lot of my favorites that I got this year are from Marvel. Marvel comes in at number one at all my Funko Pops. Marvel is actually the reason why I got into um, Funko Pops. I started collecting the WandaVisions and then it grew from there. So maybe I'll do a different edition of the 10 inch Funkos because as you can see behind me, I have a lot of those as well. And I do have a lot of favorites. So I might do that video next. So that's it. Those are my top five favorite Funko Pops that I got in 2021. Who knows what they're gonna release in 2022. I'm looking forward for the new Batman Pops. I'm looking forward um, for a whole lot of uh, cool stuff. The Hawkeye Disney Plus show, those Funko Pops will be releasing in March or April, I believe. I'm gonna be looking out for those. So stay tuned.